Hi everyone, this is Sunil here. You're all welcome to this online session. And this session, we are going to talk about the Get Sif API. We are going to see how to implement this using over the HTTP. That is uh, including the, I mean, uh, that is done using the Java site. Uh, using the SOAP tool, I have already shown that to you. For that, you can check the other video. So let's start. So what do you need to do? You need to have Eclipse already configured. I have shown it in other videos. How do you configure the Eclipse? So this is the program for that. So you can see here, uh, we'll concentrate on the get safe API here. So let me start with the program. Uh, just basic certain libraries it's importing and then uh, just the class and then simply it's initializing a parameter, uh, a properties file. And from there it's getting a lot of values, uh, the ORS name, the username, the password, the link and all those details and then yeah so that's how it is doing it so let's uh, keep going and yeah so i want to so you might be aware that get api is used to read a record from either the base object or you can also read a record from the package as well uh, you can do it both ways so let's try to read a record from the base object so first of all let's uh, what we have to do is we have to uh, set the properties file so let's uh, set the properties file uh, the properties file that it is referring to cyprian client dot properties uh, i think it should be yeah so this is the properties file uh, in the workspace save properties right so just uh, edit it uh, you know have to make sure that you are pointing this particular the parameters that are mentioned here are actually correct otherwise your code is not going to work so the first thing i want uh, to invoke an operation in something like ORS underscore uh, let's say ORS online so I need to change it I need to make it ORS online so this should be fine now you can get this ORS from here also okay you could I could also have copied it from here uh, now since I've done it so this is my make sure that the server IP address is correct otherwise it's not going to work right so I have done everything now this file is all set now let me go to the, the program in the program i'm setting the row id object here you can also uh, you can also call this get sif api using many parameters you can also send the cross reference key uh, the source system name there are many many parameters uh, through which this can be configured but we'll try to make it simple so all what i'm doing is i'm setting 184 the row id object so what i'm saying to in this program is i want to read I want to read the uh, sorry read the record with row ID object as 184 right so that's what I want to do now I want to change that because I don't think there is any data here I think what I do is I'll change this ORS to ORS underscore sample because I think I already have data in there so let me do that and in c underscore party is the table so let me log in into the database and uh, let's see what's in here yeah that's okay so ors underscore sample here i log in then let me check this uh, select star from c underscore party right so c underscore party and here i go i want to read this record 184 row id object and uh, i want to see the display name um hm display and all those details i want to see right so let me go here and it's all set the base object name is c underscore party the repository i'm pointing to is ors underscore sample and everything looks great and then what i'm doing is i am posting my request here here i go this is where i'm posting my request this is the most uh, important thing where you are uh, uh, you're bundling the zip client and then you are sending the request and then i'm storing the response here so this is my response object and once i'm getting the response what i'm doing here is i can do a lot of things i can use it um, i can display it i can use it to feed it to some other program or some uh, web application or uh, to a tool infinite i mean there are many ways in which this can be used what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to display the values onto your screen that you're seeing here right so let's go ahead the program is all set uh, let me try to run it so save it run it so i do see a certain error let's see what's the error here uh, cannot be found or is not registered with cmx system um, let me check what's the problem 
uh, ORS sample. Yeah, the problem is the physical name is not ORS sample, it's rather MDM sample. I have renamed it. So this has to be the right ORS, right? So now you understood if you're going to use a wrong ORS, what's the error you're going to get? So save it. Now let me try to run it. So let me run it. So here I go. So you can see here uh, using this application. This is an external application using this I uh, I have successfully made a connection with the NDM server and I have fetched certain details of the customer that's the display name and the HM uh, display and all that and let's say you want something more you want to get some more parameters uh, then you have to check the documentation for that the resource kit you check what this uh, in this get cust what are all the other additional things additional methods that are there that you could use or additional parameters that you could read and all that and in the response all those things right so I'll, this I have already discussed in the earlier classes so I'm not uh, telling you this and yeah if you don't know about these programs how to read a program how to write a safe program and all that and how to integrate it with something like an uh, EAI I've already discussed all of this in a separate uh, video so you check that out so thanks guys, thank you very much for your patience and I'll wrap it up now, okay? Thanks, thank you very much.